If you think about what the world of sound was like in 1930, there was radio and there were phonograph records and the beginning of magnetic recording. At that point, he invented from his own mind a world of stereo that is stereo phonograph records, stereo tape recording, stereo broadcast, stereo listening environment. He invented all of that from nothing. He just imagined that it would be a good idea. And then there's a kind of a tragedy to it because he was working for the music company EMI and they patented all of his inventions and that prevented anyone else from using them until the patents expired and then instantly it became a phenomenon worldwide. I mean, it it fits in with some other thoughts that I have about how destructive the idea of copyright and intellectual property are. It's weird. His life is like that in a number of ways. Like, he worked for the Admiralty in England during World War II. He was on a testing flight for one of these side-scanning radar sets when the plane crashed and he was killed. But his work was so secret that the circumstances of his death weren't explained to his family until many, many years later. 